now we are looking into callback functions so let me create a new HTML file and I would like to call this one as 04 for now so let me start with a button input type equal to button value equal to show and on click I would like to execute a function called do process I would like to send a couple of parameters and I would like to have another function called show difference as a parameter so the point I'm making is I am going to execute a function called do process I am going to send three parameters to that one is 10 the other is 20 and another is a function itself I'm sending the definition of the function you can see I did not put another bracket here so if I do something like this it is going to execute this function on the spot so I don't want that all I want to do is I wanted to send the definition of this one so in order to send the definition you don't want to execute it so I remove that so that is going to be the syntax so let me start with some scripting here so I would like to have a function so the first function is going to be do process so I would like to have a do process and it needs to accept three parameters so I'm going to have a comma b comma do process later this is just variable you can just put in anything like you know uh, something like do you can put anything and of course do is a reserved word here so I can say do later you can put any of those words there so essentially this is the one which is going to contain the definition of this particular function we haven't defined this function so let us define that function for now so I am going to say show difference and this is going to have two values to be sent as parameters so in this case I would like to have P and Q and I would like to say something like difference equal to P plus Q dot to string so all I'm going to say here is that this is the function which is having a name show diff sorry let me put it as show diff okay so this is the function name and I'm sending the same function you are whenever you are sending a function it sends this whole part so you are sending this whole part to this variable so which means this particular variable will have this entire definition but if you send only this which means you are asking this function to execute so which means this function gets executed and just alerts it and it is not going to send anything here so it is very important to note that the brackets are not necessary whenever you would like to send the entire function definition as a whole so in this case I am sending show def so which means this entire definition is going to be sent to a variable called do later so this do later will contain this entire definition okay now that we have the function under all whatever we need I just wanted to have the sum to be displayed so I would like to have a plus b dot to string which essentially gives me the sum so once it has completed the sum then I would like to execute this particular function whatever is available inside the variable do later so do later is actually containing a function definition in order to execute this function definition using the same variable all I had to use that is just give the variable and have the parenthesis and as this is accepting two values as parameters here I need to send two values here too so in this case I would like to send a comma b so which means this a and b whatever have been received by this function are further forwarded to show and show difference so which means this 10 and 20 will be put to a and b and the same a and b are going to be sent to p and q and finally I am supposed to get the difference so let me click this and I click show so first I get sum and the second I get difference so this is what is called as callback so which means 
I call a function and I'm saying that in return execute again this function so I am sending a function to execute as part of another process which is supposed to be the execution of another function so I call a function and after completing the process of this function's execution I am going to send another function which is supposed to be called back and executed so that is how is the callback function so let us have another function called show uh, or multiplied I can just put any variable there any name there so in this case m and n so I would like to say something like the product of those two values is going to be m star n and I'm going to send it and now in order to execute this I would like to have another button and I would like to say just another show it doesn't make what we are going to see but in this case again I would like to have do process to be executed but instead of sending show diff I'm going to send show multiplied so now what this one does is so let me have some difference here I would like to have 20 and 30 so now 20 and 30 will be sent to A and B and show multiplied will be sent to do later so do later now contains the definition of this function and first sum will be displayed that is 10 20 plus 30 which is 50 and then I am calling do later so as this do later is containing the definition of show multiplied it is going to execute this particular function so this function again as it is having two values to be taken as parameters I am actually sending a and b so essentially values whatever it is received by this function which are nothing but 20 and 30 will be further proceeded through do later to show multiplied and there we are going to have 20 and 30 where I am going to get the product out of it so let me display this and the moment I click on another show I get 50 and the other one is 600 so in that way I am having both of the functions to be executed in such a way so let me do another example on this so now I would like to execute in a different way so this is 30 and 40 for now instead of sending an existing function like this I can actually send an anonymous function directly so I can say something like function I would like to say p comma q and you can say I'm not providing any name of the function here it is an anonymous function and then I can say as part of this function I would like to say some something like alert and difference and then I can say p minus q dot to string yes so there is a possibility whenever you would like to have a particular okay so I need to sorry this particular alert statement is having so this is a statement inside a function so I need to have a semicolon here so that is important so even though this is not practical I just wanted to show you that you can send anonymous functions as parameters to other functions so which means now do later is going to have this entire function definition and do later whenever I call it in this fashion you are essentially executing this anonymous function so the point here what I'm trying to make is that you can still have a particular anonymous function to be written in place and you can just send that entire definition to a variable in the form of a parameter to another function and get it executed eventually so let me test this one again and I click on another show so which is going to be 70 and again the difference is minus 10 so why there is minus 10 you can see 30 minus 40 is essentially minus 10 so just to make some difference let us have just another show so that I will have three different buttons so again it is going to show the same thing but all I am going to have is just another show 
which is going to give me 70 with the same value as difference. Thank you.